Hey everybody, Ryan Nelson here, and today I'm gonna have you guys pin tooling like a pro in no time. Let's get to it. Now, if you guys are anything like me, I was pretty scared of the pin tool for quite a while, but I uh, came to a point where I just had to use it, and I learned how to do it quick and fast. And I'm gonna share some tips with you guys. So if you take a look here, I've got this guitar. This is a client I've been shooting for for uh, a little while. And I'm always clipping out these guitars and putting them on just a stark black background. If you look here, this is the way I shoot it. It's still on black, but it's not just that deep, rich black that makes everything pop. So these used to take me about 20 minutes to clip out a piece. Now they take me about five minutes. All right, so the basics of the pen tool, you can do point to point with, with a straight line. You can do curves, you can do S curves. Now when I started off pen tooling, I'd zoom in probably about as far as I could, and i go point, 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 point. Which works, but it just takes a long time to do. Okay, it's not that fun to sit there and just click, 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 click. Click, 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 click for like 50 minutes. It's not that fun. So you're probably gonna wanna move on from that and this is where you start to get into your curves. You don't wanna make your lines too big. You can start to go off screen to where you can't see. But if you look, you know, we can follow the shape of this guitar around pretty, pretty easily. A little bit of a modification on each end. And that works pretty good. So we've got this nice little line outlining our guitar. One thing you might want to do if you're just starting to get into the curves part of this, go up here to your little gear icon, click that, and check rubber band. And this will actually show you where the next segment of your uh, pin path is going to go. So if you look, I didn't make any arms there, so we're just going to have a straight line. But I can still click up here and drag it out to create that, that line right there. This drives me nuts personally because I feel like it's just tethered to my mouse cursor and I can't get rid of it. Shake, 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 shake. I can't shake it. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off, but it might be helpful for you guys. So you might get to a point where your curve wants to go in a completely different direction of where you need it to go. Don't worry, it's easy. We're gonna take care of it real quick. One option is when you're dragging your arm out and you get that line right where you want it, hit option and you can drag that, the second bit of this arm, by itself. If you want, you can drag that right back down to its, its little point right there, and then you can make a straight line from there. Now the second way to do that is if you pull this out and you, you get your, your pin path right where you want it, and you've already lifted up off your mouse button, you just hover over the end of this little arm here, hit Option, and you can drag that back right down to where it needs to be. Same thing, create your next straight line and keep on moving. So another thing you might run into is if you end up with a curve and you need a straight line, which is kind of what we just did, but not, not exactly, but this is just a dead straight line all the way up the neck of this guitar. So I don't need any curve to it whatsoever. Two ways to do that. One I just showed you, click option, click the end of that handle, bring it right back down to the end of that point. The other way to do it is you can hit option and then click the point that you just put and it deletes that arm for you. Now your next line is gonna be dead straight so I can go all the way up to the top of this neck, click that point, and if you look, it just follows the edge of that neck all the way down the guitar. Beautiful. One thing I just learned recently, and this has helped me out a lot, is if you're clicking around and you're making a point and you go up to click up here, Maybe your cap butts you in the, in the arm and you click up here. Instead of stopping and command Z and coming back up and finding your spot again and clicking and then forgetting to drag your arm out so you gotta command Z and go do it again. Easiest thing to do is if you're still down, you know, still have your mouse button clicked, hit your space bar and you can drag that point and put it exactly where you want it. Uh, another way to do that is if you're up here and you make it and you've already lifted off the mouse instead of hitting uh, Command Z. All you have to do is hit Command and then click and drag that point right where you want it. Now once you're done and you have your path complete, with your pin tool, right click, go to Make Selection, feather that one pixel, 
Gives it a just a little bit of a soft edge. Not enough to make it look blurry, but just enough to make it look not fake. So you're gonna right click, make selection, hit okay. And then I hit M on the keyboard, right click, select inverse, create a new layer, get my paint bucket, make sure I have black selected and fill that with black. Marquee tool and deselect. And there we go. We've got this on a beautiful black background. Easy peasy cheesy. There you go. All right, I got one other tip for you guys. Um, this one kind of baffled me for a little while and still does sometimes. But sometimes you need a path within a path because you have a background that's showing through the product somehow. Maybe it's a handle, maybe it's sitting on a reflection like this, uh, but you need to replace that too. One way you can do that is come down here and create a new work path and just make two separate paths, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad idea. Uh, if you want it all into one path, you can just make your original path all the way around and then make a second path on the same layer. Uh, finish that path up. What you want to do now is with your pen tool, hold command or select both paths and then right click, uh, make selection, make sure you're feathered at about one pixel. Uh, click OK, go back to your layers, create a new layer, paint bucket tool, and just fill both of those in with black. And this is a terrible hack job of a pen tool job, but you get the idea. Well guys, thanks for watching. I really hope these were some helpful pen tool tips and that helps speed your guys' work up a lot. That way you can get to doing what you really want to do, which is out shooting, creating things, and less time behind the computer. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe below, comment, tell me what you think, uh, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.